This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 8 starts now. He says he's dead, 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 dead. We don't support the dead. Can we have her for Christmas? Can we she just stay for Christmas so I can, you know, bring her a gift and her sisters and her brothers can celebrate Christmas with her and he's dead. No. I mean, they looked at him and said she's dead, dead, dead. Well, I'm hoping the courts are going to say no, no, no. Another gut-wrenching day for 13-year-old Jahai McMath's family as they express their frustration with Oakland Children's Hospital. They want their child, who is on life support after having her tonsils taken out, to be kept alive at least through Christmas. The hospital is saying little tonight about the family's heartbreaking news conference held just over an hour ago. Crown Force J.R. Stone is live at the hospital with the latest details. J.R. Well, Pam, you heard some of the family members there. They are outraged after this meeting that happened around two hours ago here at the hospital directly behind me. They say that Jahai is alive and they want to exhaust all resources before the ventilator is taken off. I asked him, like, how, how soon did he, was he planning on getting her off? And he was like, quickly, I need to do this quickly. And I said, well, can we, can we have her for Christmas? Can we, she just stay for Christmas so I can, you know, bring her a gift and her sisters and her brothers can celebrate Christmas with her? And he said, no, we want this done quickly. And I said, that would, I don't want my Christmas that to be my reminder every year that my daughter was took off of her ventilator and, and murdered, I, once again, my children's hospital. I, oh, I'm so, I'm so upset. And, no, that it needs to be done quickly. And so the way we ended the meeting was I just looked that man in his face and I told him, you better not touch her. You better not take my child off of the machine. You have no right. You, have, you do not have my permission whatsoever to take her off. How could you not let me have my kid for Christmas? And this is Children's Hospital. It's supposed to be so compassionate, so loving. And I asked, can my daughter just live a few more days? because she is living. And uh, like I said, like my brother said, that man looked us in the face and said, what don't you understand? She is dead, 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 dead. What's the hurry? Yeah, from there still. I don't think they like all you out here. I don't think this is inconvenient to them to have a young lady who's struggling for her life. It's probably bad press. He just said, we want to remove the dead body. Absolutely no compassion at all. We asked for medical records. He said, we'll give, we may be able to give you some. And he just said that me getting a second opinion from another doctor is an unusual request for a dead person. And he just referred to her as dead. He don't even want to use her name. Just dead. That's it. That's the only word he can use for her was dead. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be down at the Alameda County Superior Court trying to get an injunction to keep from taking her off a ventilator and ending her life. I mean, they looked at him and said, she's dead, dead, dead. Well, I'm hoping the courts are going to say, no, 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 don't touch this woman. Now, keep in mind, Jahai was pronounced brain dead last Thursday, so that happened last week. I did reach out to the hospital. They have not returned my calls or emails this evening. Now, keep in mind, the family, they plan on taking this to the court system now. They want a judge to rule in their favor to try to keep that ventilator machine on while they get a second or third outside opinion. For now, reporting live in Oakland, J.R. Stone, Cron 4 News. As JR mentioned, we have been reaching out to administrators at Oakland Children's Hospital since the family's news conference. So far, there has been no response. However, a statement signed by Dr. David Duran, the chief of pediatrics yesterday, does reference the family's request for Jahai's medical records. It says in part, quote, Jahai's family has the same access to our medical records as the family of any patient at Children's. As a matter of policy, we do not release the entire medical record while the patient is in the hospital since it is a document in continuous use. All families have the right to review the record while the patient is in the hospital and have access to the entire record after the hospitalization has ended. Stay with Crown 4 as we continue to follow this story. You can always find the latest information on our website, crown4.com, as well as our Facebook and our Twitter pages.